Hi everyone! Welcome to Cloud Dolls! This video I coming with a collaboration hosted by Wolfina Wolf and with the collaboration of the amazing artists Bombly Bry Oni, Crystal Rose and Tiny Tea Time Treasures. The theme of the collaboration is a gemstone. So the meaning is making a doll that is inspired for a gemstone. I choose the Imperial Topaz because of the amazing orange color that she have and the energy that she represented. I'm gonna use Spectra, the electric, and this orange tool I also printed in my 3D printer a crown of a queen and I'm gonna use some sequins to give her some scales and I'm gonna use this amazing orange color hair and of course a lot of orange stones I printed also this scepter for the queen I choose this spectra because I can use the holes of the battery to fill it with stones and to recycle and to give another chance to the doll. But in the end, I found out that she have two right legs. It doesn't work. So I'm gonna use another one. The neck is not broken but is fall apart. So I have to cut the hair really short as usual. And with my hair dryer, I'm gonna make the vinyl of the head really warm. Be careful, don't burn yourself. And with my tweezers, I try to pull the neck out of it, like this. And now, with a scuba dryer, I scrap the rest of the hair from the inside in the neck hole. And with my tweezers again, I pull it out. With 100% acetone, I'm gonna clean her face with all of the factory painting and prepare our spectra to be customized. I'm gonna use Mr. Super Clear UV Cut. I give her three layers, letting dry 30 minutes between the layers using the mask. I'm going to use also watercolor pencils and soft pastels. And with a light brown watercolor pencil, I start sketching the face. Imperial Topaz is also known as golden topaz. The color is usually a dark orange that may be semi-transparent but can also be seen as light red orange yellow as well. This color of topaz can occur naturally but it is extremely rare. I want to give her orange eyes and I'm also using orange pastels colors for the shadows. Most natural imperial topaz comes from a few towns in Minas Gerais region of Brazil. She's one of the most powerful manifestation stones you can get your hands on. It has a direct link to one's solar activating our focus determination and confidence reach an all-time high with imperial topaz energy it's the perfect crystal for helping you get things done and also 
pushing your mind into a phase of longevity. This allows you to harness every ounce of energy you have. One will not be able to rest their mind or body until their soul is fully pleased. With my white acrylic paint, I give her the final highlights, also the high catches. And I seal my work with the two layers of Mr. Super Clear. The body's gonna have the same treatment. I'm gonna send the body with my nail buffers and then I will clean it with nail polish remover acetone free to take all the fat and dusty out of the body. And again with my Mr. Super Clear and my soft pastels, I start building the shadow of the body.
gonna give her some bling bling <laughs> with the white pearl pigment And it's time to decorate the body. I already glued some shells into the bust and now I'm gonna give her some scales because it's May. It's mermaid May. I'm not gonna make a mermaid but I'm gonna give her a twist of mermaid. That's why I'm including some scales and some uh, nail decoration in scales, some shells and sea stars in gold nail art. I glue everything with hot glue. I also painted a pants for her in orange color. And now it's time for the stones. And I'm gonna use my hammer with a fabric. I will cover the beads and then uh, I smash them. And I'm gonna mix it with UV resin. And I'm gonna decorate the body with that mixture of uh, broken beads, sequences and UV resin. And of course, I have to cure everything under my UV lamp for 90 seconds. I used this orange bright tool to make the skirt. I glue it with super glue around the waist and now I'm gonna put some decoration around it. This doll is not gonna be available on Etsy. She is already sold. I was so happy. <laughs> but there's a lot of dolls in my Etsy shop so you can find the link of all my social media in my link tree in the description box below and also the material that I use in my dolls if you are curious. To give it a touch of the mermaid, I'm gonna sew the skirt around the knees to give it the mermaid shape and I'm gonna sew two layers more to make it more puffy.
and I finished the skirt around the waist with more UV resin, broken beads and seashells and of course some stones and I curated everything under the UV lamp. I want to give her a puffy also in the shoulder it's time for the hair. I'm gonna make her wig with this amazing curly ginger hair. I'm gonna glue it around with hot glue all the way to the top. And also with some hot glue I will attach the wig to the head of the doll. The crown that I printed, I'm gonna paint it with some orange acrylic paint and then I'm gonna decorate it with some stones, brilliant seashells and I will protect everything with varnish, glossy. With these two big stones with orange color and this gold wire, I'm gonna give her some earrings. It's very easy, I just insert it in the hole of the stone and then go around and make it. And they are ready and they look amazing. 
and you can do a simple thing just with the stone and she's looking amazing the scepter I'm gonna paint it also with the dark orange acryl paint give it two layers And I'm gonna decorate it everything with small brilliant around it and then I protected everything with my varnish glossy She's almost ready. It's time for the eyelashes. As usual, I use some doll eyelashes. This time I'm using dark brown and some tacky glue. And then with some pins, I put it in place and let it dry. With a lot of patience, of course. <laughs> After dry, it's time for the varnish in her mouth and in her eyes. And now our Imperial Topaz Queen is ready. I think she's amazing. I loved her. It was also the first time I make a support for her it was a new experience maybe I will show you one day how I did it but I love the final result of her the colors are amazing all of the details of the stones of the shells Don't forget to check the work of the other artists, they are also amazing. I will put the link below in the description box and don't forget to subscribe please, help my channel to grow up, like, leave a comment and I see you in my next video. Bye!